Shini is next. Remember, a bunch of different brands, but not only in clothing. It's also in the fashion environment, jewelry, accessories, cosmetics, cell phones, and of course they own At Home as well, which is the homewares unit. They recently bought something in the UK called Phase 8, which is a similar sort of player. It's got a market cap of 31.8 billion rand, price earnings ratio of 15.72, dividend yield of 4.26. Let's get the share chart up right now. Sid, that one also quite rocky and bouncy. Uh, 2015, not a good year. They did the deal, I think, with Phase 8 in the middle of the year, and since then, with the rest of the market, it has picked uh, up. They, all, they always said also when they did the deal that don't expect any net bottom line impact for mm. at least a year and a half. So you wouldn't have seen anything in 15, and, you sh and, you didn't, and they didn't expect that you should see anything. Yeah. They're also saying for 16, which the year end was the other day, end of March, you're not going to see anything either either so you you must really look to 2017 but then of course they didn't issue any paper mm -hmm. so there's there's no dilution from the acquisition they just took on a lot of debt yeah and again debt structure debt here debt the, there there's some debt there um but there's the major part of the acquisition debt was in south africa yeah. so a friend of mine anthony thunstrom is the new uh, cfo uh but the c EO is still Doug Murray, right? Correct. Been Absolutely. there a long time. Very good, well-run management team based down in uh, Paro yeah. in the Cape. Yeah. And they've been, you know, cautious. They've got lots of different brands. That's another strategy element. I like the total sports and uh, sports scene part of the business because of my interest in sporting apparel Absolutely. and that kind of thing. Absolutely. That seems to trade quite well. So what do you say about this group, Phase 8? What do you characterize Phase 8 at? Is it more of a kind of a fast retailing kind of uh, option? That's how they. That's how they're marketing it. Yeah. Yes. So that um, gives them entry into the uh, European market. Although it's a very big and mature market, there's also Brait, of course, which has got that other thing, which but is. But they they've also said that they plan to take Phase Eight and to roll it out as um, as um, using a store-in-store -store concept yeah. right across, effectively right across the world. So they don't want it just to be a British brand. Yeah. They they want to kind of capitalize. And just remind me what has happened with the Fushini Group's lending business because they had that RCS, they got uh, a okay. lesson draw in it. Standard Bank was there, BNP Paribas. They had two lending businesses effectively. Their own book, yep. which was the book emanating from the Fushini and all the other brands that they have. Uh -huh. And then they had RCS. Right. RCS was sold two, three years ago um, to BNP Paribas. Out they were out of it. They got their check. And in fact, a lot of the money from, from, that, from that check yes. was used for the But for they the, still for have the their own in-store credit arrangements. They still have that. That, yeah. is, that is part and parcel of the structure of yeah. Fushini. And um, competitive threats? What's your sense of where they are and their store mix compared to these other outside international players? Not as, as much a risk or marginally a risk, say, to the Fashini stores? Very, very marginally a risk, maybe, maybe to the exacts and um, things which are trading at the, yeah. you know, um, um, at the bottom, uh, you know, at the lower end of yeah. the market. Um, I think their biggest threats right now, competitive threats, is the economy. When times get tough, jewelry sales are knocked because they own american swiss and sterns and in sterns yeah. and that you know that's a kind of a swing factor for them ironically in the last downturn the the jewelry business actually did quite well it really didn't dip much at all interesting but additional angle sid but we're out of money um, no. out of money we're out of time 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 is money what have we got in terms of this one though nice uptick there at the end are you gonna go hot or not i'm kind of indifferent mm. um i've always liked the business mm. believe it or not i've always mm. liked the business i'm i'm maybe tempted to go a little bit a little bit towards the hotter side based on pricing rather than rather than because it doesn't look as going expensive. completely cold yeah okay so we'll go hot on this one i like these guys too one